Hello everybody, Hyperstar72 here, and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys <coughs> how to port forward with Portal 2. And I have not seen any videos for this yet, I didn't because I needed help on how to do it myself. But I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do that. So, I'm going to jump right into it. First step, go to your search bar and type in CMD, alright? Now, if you're running Windows 7 or Vista, all you have to do is this. But if you have um, anything like Windows XP or anything lower than that, here, what you're going to do is you're going to see a button like along here, but it'll say Run. And for me, I type in Run, and that brings it right up. So it'll show that for you guys. And for anybody using Windows 7 who types in CMD, they're going to see this. So whichever one that you have, they both do the exact same thing. So with this, this it is the direct CMD. And all that you have to do is just type in IP config and you type in enter. Alright, and then with the run, you type in the CMD <coughs> and it type and it opens up the actual command prompt and you type in IP config. Simple. Okay. Now now know that you will in order to do this, you will have to have a wireless router. If you do not um, then you cannot do this. You don't have to be connected wirelessly. You just have to have a wireless router in use. So I'll close out one of these. Uh, they're both the exact same thing. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and look at the all the ports. And so what we're going to do is I'm running currently off of Ethernet, so I'm not connected my wireless modem. But my local area connection one, or for you it might be if you're with wireless, it will say wireless. Um, adapter internet or something like that and you'll see it alright so for me it's the first one right here no, don't choose any of the twos or hamachi if you have one or something like that so what you want to do is you're going to see your default gateway alright <coughs> you're going to some of them may have a random sprawl of numbers like this just ignore that and you're going to want to type in or just look at that so now opening up your browser type in on your search bar one or yeah whatever you see your address as that number so for me it is 192.168.1.1 and I'm press enter <coughs> and it's going to bring me up to this now you may you may and I'll show you what I mean here and I just really screwed myself over opening this back up again and going to 192.168.1.1 it's going to ask you for a password more than likely even if you're connected via cable like I am um, if you now this is where you're it is not going to be your default password that you have for your wireless internet if you don't know it then you're probably going to have to go with pa your username and password as admin which is the username and the password being pass okay if that doesn't work, try admin, then password. And if that doesn't work, then try admin, then one, two, three, four. If that doesn't, if that doesn't work, just do admin and nothing else. And if that, yeah. And if that doesn't work, then that means that you changed it. And if you cannot guess that whatsoever or find out what that is, then what you're going to want to do is you're going to go ahead and want to look at what your actual router is, and you're going to go ahead and um, go into the setup for it. And in this case, I have a Cisco. Or Linksys, and me, I have Cisco Connect. And what I'm able to do now is if I open this up, and it'll be different for everybody. You may not see this, but if you have a Cisco, it will open up like this. And let me let, wait for it to load. <coughs> this is for you if you have a Cisco. If you don't, go ahead and skip uh, until you see this be closed out of. And I'll actually show you guys that while that loads. But uh, so for me, I know what mine is. I know that my username is admin, and my password. I'm not going to tell you what it is. And my login. So me, this is what my Cisco looks like. All right, or for me, I have Cisco. That's what it looks like. And that's still loading. Um, but you guys, if you have a Linksys or a Belkin or anything like that, you will, will be able to find it. Um, so me, all of these tabs set up where I was all this stuff. I have applications and gaming. You guys may see servers and gaming, all any different thing like that. But just go ahead and try and find it, and it's going to look something like this. Okay? So, this is how you actually do it. 
you're gonna want to go ahead and make two ports. Um, you're gonna or yeah, add two ports. First one, I'm gonna name mine port. I mean, I already named mine portal two dash one, and then the other one portal two dash two. You're gonna want it for both the external and the internal port. Make it two seven zero one five for all of those. It'll ask you um, for the protocol. You're gonna want to make the first one UDP and the second one TCP, or the other way around. It doesn't matter. All right, and you're gonna want to enable both of those and save your changes. So changes have been successfully saved. And this is loaded up now, guys. So if you're on Cisco, you're gonna want to go to here, and it will show you the stuff. And I don't care if you got, and I'm gonna blur out or cut out the um, actual stuff. So yeah, I'll blur it out. But <clears throat> anyways, you guys, now what you're gonna want to do that you have that is you're gonna go ahead and yeah, you can see what my actually no, this is not nothing actually. You're going to want to go to other options or look under other options and go to advanced settings. And I'm not going to click on it, but you're going to click on that and it's going to ask you to make your stuff and stuff like that. And you guys will actually not be able to connect because I'll change the password immediately. And uh, I have a different password on there. So yeah, even, even if you did that, you don't know where I live and other stuff like that. So yeah, and going to this. Um, what you want to do is you want to open up back, keep your, like I said, keep your window open for this again. And you're going to want to look under the same exact section, so you see this section. And you're going to want to look at your IPv4 address. Now, if you have an IPv6 address, also ignore that. IPv4 address for 192.168.1.119. So they're very similar, these two numbers, but it's not 119 for me. It'll be different for anybody, almost. So that's what you got to do. Once you have that, you're going to want to put that that number in both of those and save that. And you are good on that end. And I'm going to go ahead and close on my Google Chrome, guys. And I'll show you the little next steps. So, moving on. You're ne next, you're going to open up your Steam client, okay? And you have your Steam client, whatever. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to, well, you obviously have Portal 2 downloaded. And let me go ahead and close out. And that. So go ahead and right mouse click on your portal two and go to properties. Okay, click set launch options, and you're gonna it'll it'll be blank for you guys, but you guys are gonna type this in. It's dash console and click OK, and then go ahead and start up your game. And once this happens, you're gonna get this. You're gonna see the console right here, and it's a little bit complicated and stuff like that, but it is actually fairly simple. So now what you're going to want to have yourself do, and I mean this for yourself, is that you are just going to want to head and type in map, map, and then the name of the map that you want to start. So in this case, I don't know the name of the map that I want to start, but I'm going to show you guys an amazing source. Um, I do not own this forum thread or anything. I just found it a little bit ago. And since you're, ho you're port forwarding and you're not running it off of the game's actual servers, you have to start up some things yourself. So I'll have a link for this in the description. And what you're gonna and this guy he also has an a tutorial or a word tutorial for what you have to do here. And so he's going to show you all of the different maps, and these are all in order. And I guess I use things to Kpoc and. This is all in order of the maps. So if you know the exact map that you want to play on, go ahead and copy that right there and paste it in. But so let's say that we want to play on. Uh, let's go ahead and load up the actual hub. So where is the hub? Oh, MP lo Co-op Lobby Two. Okay. So we're gonna copy that. All right, and we're gonna want to go ahead and go back to our thing. And type in map, map, and then paste the actual code. Click submit, and it's going to start loading up your game. Fairly straightforward and simple. Now, in this case, it's not going. To, it's not going to work for me. It's going to load up for a very brief second, and then it's going to shut itself off. So, yep, Atlas. <laughs> and this is all going on. What you want? I'll show you what you need to do to, do to get this to actually work properly. So yes, see this is dropped hyperslayer, shutting the server down. And the reason that that happened is because it says my partner is disconnected. 
but I never had a partner on myself, and I actually don't have any friends on right now to, to give you guys a good example. And what we need you to do, though, is you guys are obviously going to want to have your friend or whoever you want to be able to play with on the other side talking to you or just being ready. So now, oh yeah, if you do close out of the um, console, you're going to want to basically press your grave key, and that will bring it right back up. Um, if you don't know your grave key is, it looks like that. <clears throat> if I can... <laughs> I'll have to show you guys right here. It looks like that. It all the, And that's at the bottom. It'll also look like that. Well, you'll see that little squiggly line. So, yeah. Now, what you're gonna ha going to want to have your friend do is you're going to have him type in connect. And then you're going to have him type in your IP address. If you don't know your IP address, you're going to want to go ahead and type in on your internet, cmyip.com. Okay, and it will give you your current IP address. And know that it does change, I wouldn't say maybe every 24 hours, but it does change fairly often. So go ahead and have him, you're going to send him that or tell him what it is. And he's going to go and type in on his console, connect space, and that IP address. And he clicks submit. And it is not going, and it's going to start loading for him. During this point, this is when you're going to want to start up the map. And what it's going to do is it's going to keep on reconnecting him every five seconds until it finally either um, the 30 seconds gives up for that it does not, is that it's unable to connect, or that it, you actually you set up your server. So this is right now what you're going to want to have your friend or your connector do. Right, and the host is going to want to start up the map. Um, again, link in the description to the actual um, list of, of maps. Sorry if um, he doesn't have any photos or anything like that. You're just going to really want to try maybe, if you're starting in the very beginning of your game, go ahead and copy that, paste it in, then go to that one, then that one, then that one, and go all the way down. This is every single map, as you can see here. And, um, except it may not, um, I don't know if it has the secret thing when it actually, when you beat every single level for, that GLaDOS has for you. Alright, so yeah, as you can see right here, it made several different, um, attempts, alright, it said after 10 retries. And so yeah, it actually suspended after 20 seconds because, um, it retried 10 times every 5 seconds, 10 times 5 equals 20. Okay, and it will actually connect them properly when you have when they um when both people are cooperating. So you're gonna have you the host or they the host start up their game, and then you're gonna want to be able to have or no, you're gonna have the connector first start trying to connect. Then the host immediately will start the game, and they'll eventually both catch up to each other and connect. So if you guys have any questions or experience any problems whatsoever. Be sure to drop a comment or a question, and I, myself, or a fellow viewer will help you out. And, yeah, so, <coughs> you said that it failed. But, now, on to the, um, yeah, so just answering a few quick questions right now. Is that if you guys do experience the, tr the trouble of where you cannot actually connect to your specific you know, to your specific TCP UDP thing where you said when you opened up that port for people to connect with Portal 2, if you cannot get that going, what I recommend that you do is you do the exact same thing, except you download Logme and Hamachi. You go to their website, just type in on Google Hamachi, download the personal use version, and go ahead and just simply network, create a new, name it whatever password whatever and or actually I'll do one one create that and then you're gonna have your friend download Hamachi the same way and connect to this exact thing when they're, they're gonna want to go to network join the existing and they're gonna want to connect to the name and then the password so there you go guys and if you yeah, and same exact thing with this you're gonna wanna go ahead and start up the name of the world, and then, or yeah, you're gonna wanna have them copy. Actually, when they're over here, 
what they're going to see is they're going to see my computer name, which means I'm the owner and I'm also connected. I do not see mine, but it does up right here, here say my name, Hyperstar SPC, and my IPv4 address. So I right mouse click on my name, copy IPv4, all right, and I then would paste, type in connect in the console space and the IP. And that's what your friends would do, or you would do if your friend is hosting. Uh, so yes, that might that might have been a little bit confusing, but anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. Don't feel absolutely free because I don't get a lot of views and I don't get a lot of likes and I don't get a lot of questions. So I'd be I'd absolutely be very happy and glad to answer any questions that you have whatsoever. So yep, yeah, thanks so much for watching and goodbye.